Hi guys and welcome to a new whole school tuning tutorial. Today we are going to talk about editing bin definition files with a special focus on tables. A table, sometimes referred to as a map, is a group of values representing the output on two or more axes, where each value is a cell in a table. To edit a table, you just have to double click the table in the table list, and this brings up to the table editor. You can select the range of cells in a table by either left clicking on the first cell in the range and while holding the mouse button, dragging the mouse to the last cell in the range. With a range of cells selected, you can increment or decrement the values in the selected range all at once by clicking plus or minus buttons on the keyboard or you can also make use of the table functions in the table editor toolbox to modify the selected range. Table data can also be copied to and pasted from the Windows clipboard. Let's make an example. Here we have two maps related to exhaust camshaft position at partial load, number 1 and number 3. Now. What we would like to do is to copy and paste the first one to the second one. Once you have selected a range of cells in the editor, you can copy the data to the clipboard by either pressing Ctrl plus C or by right clicking in the table and selecting copy selection. When data is copied to the clipboard, it can be pasted elsewhere into the table or in another instance of Tuner Pro or maybe also in another program such as Microsoft Excel. To paste the data into a table, you just have to select the first cell in the second table and hit Ctrl plus V or right clicking in the table and select Paste at starting at cursor. The Table Editor Toolbar has a group in it that allows you to edit the current selection with special functions such as Offset, Multiply, Divide and so on. Now let's go deeper into each function. Offset allows you to add or subtract to the values. For example, if we need to add 50 newton meters to this map, we just have to select the required range, put 50 as a value and click on Execute. On the other hand, if we need to subtract 50 newton meters, we just have to select the range, put a minus and click on execute. Multiply multiplies by the desired value. For example, we have to select the range, put 2 as value and click on execute. Then divide divides by the desired factor. We need to select the range, divide for example by 4 and click on execute. Another important function is copy from computer. To use this function you have to first load the compare bin by clicking on compare, load compare beans, load the bin you have to compare and click on OK. You can have a look at the original file showing compare bin data. Here you have the original file and here the other one. You need to select the range you require to copy, click on execute and you will see that this range will be exactly the same as the original one. Then we have fill with value which replaces the selected area or single cell with a chosen value. For example, we try to select this range, put 300 as a value and click on execute. Last but not least function is smooth, which allows a smooth transition among adjacent cells. Be aware that in this case the values must be among 0.01 and 0.99. Let's try to use this function by selecting the area, put for example 0.95 as a value and click on execute. 
If you would like to work in percentage, you just have to select the area required to modify, for example this one, use the multiply function and put for example 1.1 as a value if we know we need to increase by 10%. Otherwise, if you want to increase by 50%, you will have to put 1.5 as a value. You can also see units of measurements of maps and axes by opening the 2D or 3D selection view. To open this you just have to click on the button show table graph. In both 2D and 3D graphs data points can be dragged and changed by clicking on the data you want to change and dragging the mouse. In 2D graph, let's try to open one of these, the active point is colored red and it's this one, while in a 3D map the active point is outlined in bold. The graph and corresponding table value will update in real time with your mouse movements. Here the movement of the map and here the moment of the value. Dragging the mouse while holding the left mouse button will draw a selecting rectangle. All the points that fall within that rectangle will be selected. Using the mouse, you can also rotate by holding the CTRL button on the keyboard and moving the mouse. This will allow you to rotate the view of the map. By holding Shift on the other hand, you can move the map on the left or on the right. Otherwise, if you need to zoom the map, you need to click both CTRL and SHIFT buttons. This tutorial is finished. See you in the next one. Do not forget to visit our website and follow us on Facebook and Instagram to not miss any news.